Welcome adventurers, to the ultimate showdown in the realm of serpents. Brace yourselves, as we delve deep into the heart of the wilderness, to witness a battle of epic proportions, King Cobra vs Rattlesnake. The titans of the snake world, each armed with venomous fangs and cunning instincts, are about to clash in a primal struggle for dominance. Join us on this thrilling journey, as we uncover the secrets of these majestic creatures, and witness nature's raw power in action. Number 1. Taxonomy and Classification Despite their venomous reputations, King Cobras and Rattlesnakes belong to distinct taxonomic families. The King Cobra Ophiophagus hana falls under the Elapidae family, which also includes Cobras, Coral Snakes, and Crates, with its sole member genus, Ophiophagus, meaning Snake Eater. Despite its name, it is not a true Cobra, and is distinguished by size, hood shape, and unique head scales. Rattlesnakes Cropolis are part of the Vipridae family, which includes pit vipers, bush vipers, and true vipers, with multiple rattlesnake species in the genus Crotalus. They are identified by their triangular head, heat-sensing pits between eyes and nostrils, and, of course, the rattle on their tail. Number 2. Geographical Distribution and Population King Cobras, native to Southeast Asia, including India, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, and southern China, prefer habitats such as rainforests, swamps, mangroves, and bamboo forests. Their population is challenging to estimate due to their secretive nature and extensive habitat range, but the IUC enlists them as least concern, although habitat loss and human-wildlife conflict pose potential threats. In contrast, rattlesnakes inhabit the Americas, primarily North, Central, and parts of South America, thriving in diverse environments like deserts, grasslands, rocky outcrops, and woodlands. With over 30 recognized species, their population varies greatly depending on the species and location. While some species, like the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, are common, others, like the Santo Catalina Island Rattlesnake, face critical endangerment. Habitat loss remains a significant threat, although some species demonstrate adaptability. Number 3. Size and Physical Characteristics Both King Cobras and Rattlesnakes are formidable predators, but they differ significantly in size and physical attributes. King Cobras, the longest venomous snakes globally, typically measure between 11 to 13 feet, with exceptional specimens reaching up to 18 to 20 feet. They have a long, slender body built for agility, featuring a broad, flattened head with a distinctive expanding hood as a warning display. Their coloration ranges from yellowish-brown to olive-green with dark bands. Their venom is highly potent neurotoxic. On the other hand, rattlesnakes, with an average length of 3 to 4 feet, are stocky and muscular, adapted for power and ambush tactics. They possess a triangular-shaped head with cat-like pupils and a segmented rattle on their tail for warning vibrations. Rattlesnakes exhibit camouflage patterns in brown, grey, or black with geometric markings. Their venom primarily consists of hemotoxins, causing tissue and blood cell damage. In summary, King Cobras excel in length and agility, while rattlesnakes rely on camouflage and their rattling warning system, with both species possessing distinct head shapes and potent venom, albeit of different types. Number 4. Type of the Venom Both King Cobras and rattlesnakes possess venom, yet their venom composition and effects diverge. King Cobras primarily possess neurotoxic venom, along with some cytotoxic properties chiefly composed of three-finger toxins, inducing paralysis and snake venom metalloproteinases affecting blood vessels. This venom leads to swift paralysis, respiratory failure, and potential cardiac damage, posing fatal risks to humans if untreated. On the other hand, rattlesnakes have a varied venom composition, including neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and cytotoxins. Their venom induces paralysis and respiratory issues similar to King Cobras, alongside provoking tissue damage, bleeding, and swelling, 
with effects ranging from paralysis and intense pain to tissue necrosis and hemorrhaging, depending on the species. Number 5. Fangs and Venom Delivery King Cobras and Rattlesnakes, though inhabiting different regions, both hold the status of apex predators in their respective environments, relying on potent venom for both hunting and self-defense. While both possess fangs, the mechanics of their venom delivery systems differ significantly. For the King Cobra, with fixed fangs that remain permanently erect, King Cobras boast some of the longest fangs among venomous snakes, measuring up to 1.2 inches. Their venom delivery mechanism involves fixed, grooved fangs through which venom travels along a canal and exits through the groove during a bite, allowing for the injection of substantial venom quantities in a single strike. The venom of the King Cobra primarily targets the nervous system, inducing paralysis. In contrast, rattlesnakes feature hinged fangs that fold inward when not in use, offering protection against damage and conserving energy. During a strike, these fangs rotate outward, injecting venom. Rattlesnakes employ hollow fangs akin to hypodermic needles, with venom traveling through a duct and exiting the tip during a bite. The composition of rattlesnake venom varies across species, but commonly includes a blend of neurotoxins, cytotoxins affecting cells, and hematoxins impacting blood clotting. Number 6. Habitat and Behavior King Cobras, native to the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia, are diurnal and solitary hunters. They prefer dense vegetation near water sources and specialize in hunting other snakes while also being proficient climbers and swimmers. Additionally, they are intelligent, aggressive when threatened, and nest builders, with females guarding their eggs diligently. On the other hand, rattlesnakes are found across the Americas, inhabiting diverse environments from deserts to forests. They can be active during the day or night, primarily relying on ambush tactics to catch prey such as rodents and birds. Their rattling serves as a warning signal and they are solitary creatures that give birth to live young, unlike king cobras. Number 7. Diet and Feeding Behavior King cobras, known as the snake eater, primarily consume other snakes, including both venomous and non-venomous species, alongside occasional lizards and small mammals, when snakes are scarce. They actively hunt using their keen senses and potent venom for a quick, paralyzing bite, followed by constriction, and swallowing prey larger than their own heads. Rattlesnakes, identified as the ambush predator, are generalist predators targeting small mammals like mice, rats, and rabbits, as well as birds, lizards, and amphibians. They employ an ambush technique, blending into their surroundings and relying on heat sensing pits to detect warm-blooded prey. Striking swiftly with venom to immobilize their victim, they then consume their prey whole with the iconic rattling tail as a warning signal. Number 8. Hunting Strategies King Cobras primarily utilize ambush tactics, leveraging their exceptional senses to locate prey from concealed positions in dense vegetation or rocky terrain. Although they can also actively hunt during daylight hours due to their considerable size, their venom serves as a potent tool to swiftly incapacitate prey. On the other hand, Rattlesnakes excel in ambush techniques, relying on camouflage to blend into their environment near rodent burrows or along game trails. Equipped with specialized heat sensing pits, they can detect warm-blooded prey even in darkness or underground. Additionally, their distinctive rattling serves as a preemptive warning to deter potential threats, allowing them to conserve venom for necessary confrontations. Number 9. Reproduction and offspring. King cobras, as egg-laying reptiles, lay 20 to 40 eggs in a leafy nest after mating season January to April and fiercely guard them until they hatch after 60 to 90 days. The young cobras then emerge fully developed and independent. In contrast, rattlesnakes employ varied reproductive strategies. Some retain fertilized eggs internally, giving birth to live young ready to fend for themselves ovoviviparous, while others nourish developing offspring through a placenta-like structure viviparous. Rattlesnake mothers provide no parental care, and neonates are born with venom and a functional rattle, immediately capable of hunting. Number 10. Defense Mechanisms 
both utilize camouflage to blend with their surroundings and prioritize escape to evade confrontation. King Cobras, distinguished by their iconic expandable hood, display it as a visual warning when threatened and deliver a highly venomous bite capable of killing large animals. Some species of King Cobras can spit venom accurately, targeting the eyes for defense, potentially causing severe pain and permanent blindness if untreated. On the other hand, rattlesnakes utilize their characteristic rattling tail to produce a loud warning sound and adopt a defensive coil with raised heads ready to strike as the warning is disregarded. Their venomous bites can also be lethal if not promptly treated. Number 11. Human Interactions In their natural environments, king cobras and rattlesnakes typically don't cross paths due to differences in habitat. King cobras inhabit South and Southeast Asia, while rattlesnakes reside in the Americas. However, both of these venomous snakes face their greatest threat from humans. Human activities such as deforestation linked to habitat loss, posing a significant danger to these snakes. Encounters with humans can result in perilous situations for both parties, as bites from these venomous snakes necessitate urgent medical attention. Tragically, some individuals capture these venomous snakes for the illegal pet trade, exacerbating the threats they face. Number 12. Conservation Status For the King Cobra, it is categorized as vulnerable on the International Union Conservation of Nature Red List of Threatened Species, indicating a population decline of at least 30% over the past few decades, primarily due to habitat loss from deforestation and agricultural conversion as well as hunting for meat and skin. Conservation efforts include its inclusion in Sites Appendix 2, legal protection in countries like India, and community outreach programs to raise awareness and promote safe snake handling. As for rattlesnakes, their conservation status is very depending on species, with some being widespread and common, while others are threatened or endangered due to factors like habitat loss, fragmentation, and climate change as well as persecution in certain regions. Conservation efforts include species-specific legal protections, habitat conservation initiatives benefiting other wildlife, and educational programs aimed at fostering understanding and coexistence with these often misunderstood snakes. Number 13. Cultural Significance In Asia, the King Cobra is revered for its immense power often associated with royalty or deities like Nogar in Hinduism and Buddhism, owing to its size and venom. In North America, rattlesnakes are seen as symbols of renewal and transformation in Native American cultures due to their shedding skin, often featuring in rituals and stories about healing and change. Additionally, the rattlesnake's rattle serves as a clear warning, symbolizing danger and the significance of respecting boundaries. And finally, number 14, role in ecosystem. King Cobra, the apex predator, maintains its supremacy as the longest venomous snake, regulating other snake populations, including venomous ones. It specializes in a diet primarily composed of other snakes and lizards, thereby sustaining ecosystem balance. Rattlesnakes act as predators, managing populations of rodents, lizards, and other small animals, to prevent environmental overruns. Additionally, their iconic rattle functions as a crucial warning system, minimizing unnecessary conflicts with potential predators. Both king cobras and rattlesnakes fulfill vital roles in sustaining healthy ecosystems. Witness nature's drama, predator versus prey. Like, share and subscribe for more wild encounters.